This is the National Video Journalist Network. I'm Waldo Cabrera. It doesn't matter if you have a newborn or kids that like to roam free. Join me on a trip from shore to shore on My Long Island Family. And visit alliedfoundation.org. At the Woodbury Jewish Center, expectant mothers and new mommies learn all about the latest in childcare at the annual Pregnant Island event. Something that was true in your parents' era, it may not be so now. Things change, recommendations change, guidelines change. And the only way to know is to keep up to date with the professionals who are applying these recommendations in real life scenarios. Almost all the vendors, the raffle prizes, and the speakers have had a touch in my life. And if I felt like they were great, I'm bringing them here to share them with my community. You have gone from being connected with baby and just kind of getting acclimated to that. Now I'm trying to decrease bleeding here, have my uterus go back to its original state. How is my weight doing? It's the biggest thing I wanted to share today was the fourth trimester and the challenges you go through mentally, physically, emotionally, going through caring for your newborn and adjusting, that they're truly being given time to share their feelings and counseled adequately and given resources to get the help they need to succeed as a new mom. Very interesting because I actually thought the same way too. Like when I went to the doctor's office, they kind of kind of throw you away. They're like, okay, you're done and pretty much you're on your own. So with the breastfeeding, um, you know, they actually did an operation on the baby, so I had to go back to the hospital with him. And that's when I learned more things about breastfeeding. Otherwise, it's pretty much you're on your own with books and magazines, and that's pretty much it. It's okay to do family room. It's okay to co-sleep as long as you do it in a safe way. Normally, a mom will call me or a dad and say that their child's not sleeping and how can I help them. And from there, I talk to them about schedules, see schedules, sleep, eating, activity. I talk to them about having a great bedtime routine, uh, room environment, is it conducive to sleep, and then how to approach your baby throughout the night when and if they do wake up. You should not sleep coach your child before the age of six to nine months, given your pediatrician's approval. The average first time mom is gonna have her baby at 41 weeks and three days. So at 38, 39 weeks, your doctor is saying, oh, we need to have this baby. That's not the recommendation anymore. Having a vaginal delivery, that's the best outcome for mom and for baby. So there's a lot of different things that you can do to achieve that. And um, that's what I talked about today was those six birth practices to help improve those odds of you having a vaginal birth. Myself as a nurse, I hardly ever saw that in certain facilities where the providers really pushed for vaginal delivery. I saw a lot where the providers were like, nope, it's time for a C-section, let's just go back. The main point is to know your options, that all women have options in their pregnancy, in their delivery, and even postpartum. There's a lot of things that I don't know. Um, my, my second child, and the doctor was very informative and nice, and she didn't make me feel intimidated to go up to her and ask her questions. Um, so I thought it was great. I actually have my children seven years apart, so when I had my second, it was like I was starting completely over, but like you said, even just two years, it's a big world of difference.